Mayor, thank you so much for being here today. It's my pleasure, Poonam. Good to see you. So last January, you were sworn in as the 36th mayor of Salt Lake City. Here we are one year later. How would you describe 2020? Oh, powerful, um, unearthing. Uh, and I mean that literally and, and figuratively. We had obviously um, earthquakes and a, an inland hurricane that turned our earth and moved things around. But I think the pandemic and the social movement and the you know intersectionality of some of those events that we're still unpacking uh, is allowing us to get deep into the structures of our government um, from a federal to a local level and the way we exist as society. And that is tremendously powerful. So there's plenty of heartbreak and loss, suffering, um, there's transformation. There's been community building and there's been division also across our nation. So it's been a transformative, but I would say it's a powerful year, most of all. And, and Mayor, now in, in your 2020 plan, you know, initially you had outlined um, three major priority areas, growth, environment, and the community. Um, what were a few major things you were able to accomplish in 2020? Yeah, I, I'm grateful for those three legs of the priority stool and that we actually made quite a bit of progress on all of them. Um, the growth component, we were able to hire someone, Clark Cahoon, who is now leading our tech innovation collaboration with the healthcare industry, um, the health innovation industry rather, and technology and looking to bring that, the benefit of those jobs and those companies into Salt Lake City and really make a tangible connection of opportunity to Salt Lake City residents. We wanna be able to build apprenticeships, job openings, mentorships, even catering our educational systems to be training our residents to go into that field, which is the highest paying and the fastest growing industry in the state of Utah technology. We've made some pretty great progress on that growth front. Um, when it comes to the environment and sustainability, we've, dis we've uh, disseminated that priority through all of the departments in Salt Lake City so that every policy decision or finan major financial decision that any division or department is making is considering what those environmental impacts are and therefore what might be better decisions for us to make as a city. That's helping us drive our focus on electrifying transportation, not only in our own investment as a city, but making that more possible for our residents to transition. And this last year in 2020, we saw a major advancement on a solar initiative where by 2023, 90% of Salt Lake City Corporation's power will be electrified power. And we hope to expedite that transition for the rest of the city very soon. Um, and then when we come down to the equity and inclusion, that was our third leg of the stool. And it was a great place for us to begin 2020. The city council supported a half a million dollar request for us to do a citywide equity master plan. And that contract is now underway. We'll, we invite all of our Salt Lake City family employees and the communities to um, look at participating with us in the coming months as we do that work with a third party because no city or corporation should evaluate themselves about opportunities for greater equity. Um, but please look for that in the, in the near future as we hopefully, and our intention is to transform the way that we work um, within our, our corporation and with our entire community. Let's talk a little bit about what's on the horizon here for 2021. You're delivering your second State of the City address next week. Could you give us some kind of a preview and share maybe some details on uh, priorities that you want to focus on? I'll give you a little glimpse and it starts um, with an amplification of those three priorities we let out with last year. Equity and inclusion is, has got to be there. And it also needs to be amplified into our city business, into our work with our own employees. We have over 3,000 employees in Salt Lake City Corporation, and we have been learning and listening and then trying to support our diverse employee workforce in ways that they need from trainings um, to mental health support and different kinds of leave. It's been a tremendous year. So you're gonna hear more about supporting our own employees. And I think 
I hope that will be a comfort to our Salt Lake City residents and businesses. As you mentioned, we have been just killing it on our services. Even on earthquake day, we didn't miss a garbage pickup. I mean, that's amazing. And that day was riddled with aftershocks. So we've kept our public services going and we need to support those people who've been doing so amidst hiring freezes and tremendous social, environmental um, health difficulties. Uh, we'll keep going with connecting our residents with the opportunities of growth. And when you look at the economic portfolio for the state and Salt Lake City over the last tremendous year, you see that construction has continued to grow. At sometimes it was at nine or ten percent growth, while every other sector was in the red. Um, Salt Lake City is going to keep growing. Those high rises are going up downtown right now, and there's more in the pipeline. But we need to ensure that our city is not a victim of growth. That we are an engaged participant that makes sure that we benefit as residents. We benefit from the growth that's happening here. I want to see more trail connections, more ability to live in a 15 minute community where you can walk within 15 minutes to your work, your place of recreation, to dinner with your family, to a great park. And these are the opportunities that we're looking for in 2021. I can't wait to give you some details at the State of the City. And Mayor, in terms of engagement, how can residents learn more and stay connected with you and your team? All of our social media platforms um, at SLC Mayor, uh, you can come to community council meetings, public hearings. Um, there's always a general comment section at the city council meetings, which happen on Tuesday nights, most Tuesday nights. That council schedule is also available. But tune in on whatever platform works best for you. Um, SLC TV is another great way to stay in touch. So please find ways this year to get engaged uh, because Salt Lake City is on the rise. We are growing and we want to grow with you and in a way that benefits you.